So you might be asking yourself, can a chipper help my short game? Hopefully we'll answer that question in this video, guys. We are testing out the Odyssey Exact Chipper, Strixon ZX5 8 iron, and the Titleist Vokey SM7. We're gonna do a few shots each, see how close we can get to the pin, and maybe see something astonishing. <laughs> Whether you're a high, low or mid handicapper, we want to find out whether or not a chipper is going to help us. Most people would probably use an 8 to do a chip and run shot. Or if you're like me, you try to use a 60 and you end up topping it. Most of the time, yeah. So with this, this club, it's designed to sort of scuff the bottom and not dig in, not top your shots, not fat or thin your shots. And you should be able to use a form of putting stroke rather than your normal swing stroke, which yeah. hopefully will make it easier. There is a bit of a stigma around these clubs. Um, most professionals don't use them, but then, you know, Mark, Mark Crossfield's got one in his bag. If it improves your golf and makes it easier, why the, Why wouldn't you have one in exactly, your bag? Exactly, exactly. Let's get down to the pin and take some shots. So we're down at pin five, so we're going to take these balls. The Odyssey with the yellows. The Trust balls with the SM7. And then the Strixon iron, we're going to use the orange balls. So what we're going to do is just test out the feel of it, how good the shots are and then what we'll do is come up with a conclusion and ask another person on course what they think of it. Yeah. Now we're not looking for the balls to necessarily go in the hole or be as close to the pin, but if we have a group of them which are consistent, that's also going to be what we're looking that's for. That's what really. we're looking for, consistency. Yeah. That's what everybody wants. Um, I mean, you want it to feel, you want to feel confident with it. You don't want to feel like you're going to dig into the ground. No, you don't want that. Or like me, I don't want to be topping it. That's my No, that's, you are captain top. Yeah. Right guys, so what I'm going to do is hit five balls with the 60 degree, then five with the eight iron, and five with the chipper, see how I get on. So we're not looking to get this in the hole, we just want a consistent strike really. It's very easy to fat and thin a shot when you're using like a nine or a 60, do you find that? I just, find the 60 yeah. is my downside of us. That chip is designed to do away with that. Right, Come so around. using a 60 to start. 60, I'm not very good with it at all. I hit the ground. Hit the ground. Okay, so how did that feel? Terrible. Hit the ground pretty much every shot, mate. You Can't shots weren't it. horrific on that, to be honest. That was luck, to be fair. So chip and run now with an eight. This is more of a, like a putter. Dust that. Okay, thoughts on that? That felt a lot better than the 60. Um, had a bit more control under it. Saying that, I went a bit big, but I didn't feel like I was gonna duff it as much. Yeah. So, yeah, so it's gone to the chipper. And straight away, you can tell the trick chipper, if you look, it's more, if you're going with this with a chip and roll, you're going to be more upright with it. This yeah, is more out wide. Now, you can either hit this like a, like a putter, but I come out to the side, give it a bit more of a. Yeah, you can use it like a putter stroke then. Yeah. for a while and I've not warmed up but you just know you're not gonna you it's almost impossible as you can see that what's your confidence like a lot more that, with that behind the ball you're not gonna fat and thin it with this thing look at that because of the smooth surface it's designed for people who are rubbish like you and I so it's a perfect club it's a perfect club mate now, if you're a high handicapper or mid handicapper this is gonna be perfect for your short game but I mean even if you are good a low handicap is going to benefit from this, I reckon. It's just the stigma of it's having stigma. one in your bag. Mark Crossfield's got one, though, guys. Anyway, let's go and find someone on course and see what they think. Yeah. 
So we're going to grab a random person that's playing on the golf course to see how they find this chipper. Sorry, what's your name again, bud? Rob. Rob. What do you reckon, Rob? Yeah, I like it. It's nice. It's got Against... a bit more control. It's um, the weight of it makes it a bit more. I don't know, a bit more stable. And you can feel where the ball's going to go. It's more accurate. Against using an eight iron, which you, would you prefer? I much prefer this. Yeah. 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 Definitely, it's very nice. It's about hundred quid. Could like do, you buy one. <laughs> do you reckon it's worth the money at hundred quid? I do. Yeah, it's very nice. Yeah, it's definitely good for getting it off. I always get confused whether you use a sand wedge or a. Yeah or an eight or a nine or what have you, but that that would sort of, you know, this sort of rough area, you'd use it all the time. You soon get used to it, I think. Right, that was Rob, who quickly give, give the bat a go. He liked it, he did. He's yeah. done quite Very well with that. With it. Yeah, um, so just goes to show it in, just us that can see the difference with it. I, when I used it, obviously I haven't warmed up. I've been using this club for quite a while. You've been doing really well with this club. My game improved drastically and quickly. When I first got it, I wasn't sure whether to use it as a putter or like a little side bat. And um, I like using it as a side bat. And those shots there felt a lot better than using the eight or the 16 yeah. every time. Because I know, in the back of my mind, I'm gonna dig it in at some point. With a club like this, where it eliminates that topping and just give, gives you a mass amount of confidence behind the ball, that's, it's got to be worth it. It's all about the confidence. If you've got that confidence, you're more likely gonna end up better, aren't you? Exactly. Anyway, we think it's worth a buy. We think it can help you in your short game. Let us know if you're thinking about getting one. It's 109 quid, it's a bargain. It's a hell of a club for that price. You're not gonna lose a lot of money on this. If you bought it, tried it, and then went to sell it on, you're probably not gonna lose a lot of money on that either. No. It's just worth buying just to try it, guys. And there's a reason why there's not much of a second-hand market on these. It's because everyone's keeping them once they got them. They're good, yeah. they're good. There isn't many top brands bringing, bringing out chippers. And with a name like Odyssey on there, I know. The looks, only other one is the nice ping, but it looks more like an iron. And I quite like this. It gives you. It's got such a wide back to this one. Yeah, the, the ping's got sort of like a wider sole, but you're still going to fat and thin it, in my opinion. I mean, I haven't used it, I haven't tried it. We, we'll get old. We're bouncers. We're bouncers. We'll still fat and thin that. This thing, it's impossible to do that, guys. I like it. He likes it. Hopefully you'll like it. Yeah. Let us know in the comments section if you do buy one, what you think of the bat. If Are you planning to get one? Have you got one? Let us know, guys. If yeah. you like the video in any way, please click that like button. And don't forget to subscribe. Every subscription does help the channel. So we're only a small channel. We're try trying to grow it so we can bring more, more reviews to normal, average golfers like ourselves. Exactly. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching. Till then, guys. Take care.